And our guest is Dr. Roger McCohen, who is a taxation and ag law specialist at the Washburn School of Law. And uh, Dr. McCohen, in this uh, second part, we're going to talk about something that uh, it's getting to be that time of the year, the annual uh, uh, burning and uh, the prescri prescribed burning in Kansas is legal, but there's a lot of things you need to follow. Yeah, Ken, uh, already some of the cool season grasses have been burned, uh, but we are coming into the primary burn season once we get into April, uh, and particularly in the Flint Hills, but elsewhere. But the point of this is that Kansas um, has uh, some fairly detailed regulations that have to be followed. It's not really much in the, in the code. There's not much statutory law on this. It's all in the administrative regulations that have been developed by the Kansas Department of Health and Environment. And they set the rules there for conducting a prescribed burn. Uh, and basically, we start with the premise that open burning is prohibited unless you fall within an exception. And one of those major exceptions is for the open burning of agricultural lands that's done in accordance with the regulations. And that's the way it's phrased. And basically what they're focusing on are things that are common sense. Um, you can burn a vegetation such as grass and woody species and crop residue and other dry plant growth for the purpose of crop range, pasture, wildlife and watershed management. So if it's part of your farming practice to sustain that pasture, that's good pasture rangeland management because uh, it helps you control the, uh, the vegetation uh, and weeds and so forth that would harm the growth of that. And so that's a good idea, but you've got to follow the rules. Uh, it's a good idea to notify local fire control authority within jurisdiction, unless uh, the county has said, or the local jurisdiction has said, you don't need to do that. And that's one of the things that can vary from uh, spot to spot across the country and make sure you're not gonna create a traffic hazard. So watch your wind conditions. And so if, that, if the wind might result in the smoke blowing across the roadway, then you do have to give notice to the highway patrol, the county sheriff or local traffic officials before you start that burn. Uh, make sure you're not creating a visibility hazard for airplanes that are at a nearby airport. We have a lot of these rural um, airstrips. And so uh, be mindful of that. Uh, give notice if you might have a, a problem like that that would occur. And then there are some uh, additional re regulations that apply in the Flint Hills. And uh, during the month of April, there may be some prohibitions in certain counties. And a lot of that has to do with uh, smoke uh, affecting population areas such as Topeka and Kansas City. But uh, as long as you follow the rules, the, you're not going to be held strictly liable for any problems that might result if that fire escapes and harms somebody else. And that, that's a key point for conducting ag burns in rural areas in Kansas. Well, Dr. McCohen, uh, both these issues we talked about today are very important, and we just kind of scratched the surface. We just mm -hmm. don't have that much time in this format to go over it. So how can our viewers uh, read more about this and even subscribe to uh, your blog and your thinking on all these important ag issues? Well, I, I contain, you can access my blog through my website, which is Washburn Walter, W-A-L-T-R. It's the Washburn Agricultural Law and Tax Report. And that's at uh, washburnlaw.walter slash edu. And on the homepage down the left-hand side, there's a link there for my blog. And uh, there's also a little button that people can uh, tap and get uh, sign up for an email notification of when I add an article to the blog. And there's about uh, 130 of those uh, detailed articles that I write and include on the blog every year. Very good. And even guys like me, non-attorneys can can make sense of most of them all the time. So good, Dr. Good. Cohen, always great to uh, talk with you. We look forward to uh, next month's conversation as well. I do too. Thank you, Ken. Thanks. Dr. Roger McCohen, who is a tax and ag law specialist at the mm -hmm. Washburn School of Law. He's uh, joined us. Stay with us. We'll have more coming up.